everybody, and welcome back to another Ross Reviews, where today we are in something rather unusual. And judging from the outside of this, you might just think this is your typical Corolla, but it's something completely different. This is a 2007 Blade Master G, and I know you probably do not know what that is, but this is essentially a Corolla, but it has a 3.5 liter V6 up front. It's front wheel drive, it's got a six speed automatic, and this thing pushes about 206 kilowatts. So it's definitely got some power. And this was only sold in Japan, and they only made less than 3,000 of these things. Now these things do weigh just under 1.5 tons, so you know they're not the lightest thing out there, but when you've got 206 kilowatts on tap, 344 newton meters, you know, again, front wheel drive with the six speed, it definitely pushes this little hatchback, no doubt about it. And uh, yeah, you can get yourself in some trouble if you're not paying attention, <laughs> definitely. And let's not beat around the bush. This engine, it's a 2G RFE, and you know, again, 206 kilowatts, 344 newton meters, straight out of the Orion. This engine was actually used in the Lotus Evora S, and they basically just strapped a supercharger on it, and that was it. You know, it's got potential here. Now, this isn't the same engine that is in the IS350. It is slightly different, but you know, the potential is in this motor. It definitely is. I really do have to say, you know, sitting in this blade, Master G, it does feel a lot more premium than, you know, a typical Corolla. And of course it should. You know, even from this big light up on the ceiling here, you know, it, it looks really nice. The suede everywhere, the, you know, the blue leather on the steering wheel, the flappy paddles, even the gauge cluster has this kind of bronze tinge, bronze tinge to it. Looks quite classy. And just driving it on this road here, we're out in Melbourne, and you know, it's smooth. Just leave it in drive, you know, just as you would expect from a Toyota. It's just a really nice daily. Uh, and then, you know, obviously we can put it into sport mode. The revs climb a little bit. And again, we've got the paddle shifters here. And yeah, red lines at just about 6,500 RPM. It gets going. And just getting onto it again. <laughs> yep. Not bad for a little Corolla. I tell you what, this thing moves. It's not a violent car, and I, I don't really feel much torque steer, to be honest but the closer you get to, you know, when you start getting into that four and a half, five, five and a half thousand RPMs in this thing, it, it really does move. Yeah. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> it's an, and it's almost, you almost don't believe what the Speedo says right there because it feels very just, easy to do it. You don't really feel like you're getting kicked in the pants, but that Speedo is climbing. Jeez. And the paddles are quite responsive. Again, for a 2007, they're not instant, but they're not bad. They're pretty quick. The real letdown really with this transmission here, look, again, the shifts are pretty responsive. And when it's in drive, beautifully comfortable, you know, great as a daily. It's when you want to use the paddles and really get into it, you drop down the gears and it basically just limits you from going over whatever gear you've selected. So I'm in fourth right now and it's still dropping. Like, see, I wasn't actually in fourth. I was in some other gear, but it won't let you go past it, it, that, it doesn't hold the gear. It should hold the gear. That's the biggest problem with this thing.
Now price, look guys, this thing brand new, again, being a blade, being special, was sold alongside crowns and that. This was more expensive than your typical Corolla, of course. This was gonna be, back in 07, around 55 grand Australian dollars here. So it's pretty expensive. Uh, nowadays on the used market, if you are going to buy one of these things here in Australia, again, I could only find like four actually on the market. You're gonna be paying like between 15 and 20,000 depending on case and condition. So, you know, they are actually reasonable in terms of money to buy. Now these blades as well did actually get revised suspension. So it's double wishbone at the back. Uh, you also did get 17 inch wheels on this. So it was tuned, you know, a little bit more to be that sports orientated. Uh, and I really get a GR vibe out of this car. So this really was like an early attempt at Toyota doing a hot hatch. So, you know, trying to get into the market of something that's a little bit luxurious a little bit sporty in a hatchback. Uh, unfortunately, back in 07, it didn't quite sell as expected, so they didn't continue with it. But you could just imagine today, you know, with the release of the GR Corolla now, this thing, you know, there would have been, there would have been a market for it today. If GR had got their hands on this, that would have been something. And coolly enough, you know, this car actually had remote start technology, uh, you know, for 2007 again. Every modern car basically has that now, but, you know, a pioneer again with tech and, uh, you know, showing new features off early. This is pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, now zero to 100. I actually do not know what this car is claimed at. Uh, I've been told hopefully under six seconds. So we are just gonna pull up on this back road and then uh, see, there is no traction settings or anything like that. So I'm just gonna stop, reset the draggy, put it in sport mode and uh, here we go. Go, 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 go. 100. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if it is like some of the Lexus products where you're better just to flat foot it. That's exactly what I did in this one. I didn't build the revs up or anything, but let's have a look at what the time was. <laughs> Might have to do it one more time. <laughs> Seven seconds. <laughs> 7.1. It was just traction light. Go, go, go. Oh, there we go. That felt stronger. Oh boy. <laughs> that definitely felt quicker. Uh, we'll see by the draggy results, but yeah, traction was coming on. And uh, I think building the revs up in this one definitely is gonna give us a better time. So let's have a look. Nope, exactly the same. <laughs> now zero to 100 guys, again, was done Surprisingly, it's 7.1 seconds. I definitely thought that was going to be a bit quicker, judging by traction control, you know, having to be initiated, but that's what it is. You know, again, we are in Melbourne. The roads are a bit damp. It's a bit cold out. It's a back road. I think if you're on a really good surface, you had a perfect launch, you're probably going to be looking around that 6.6, .6, you know, six and a half second mark. Uh, but it's really at the top end, you can feel this thing go hard. Like, yeah. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today, guys. So look, a huge thanks to the owner for bringing down his Blade Master G. This was a real cool car to check out. You know, something that's just weird, quirky, JDM. And uh, yeah, driving this guys today was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we'll see you on that next video.